Hey folks, today we're going to take a look at a game that is currently seeking funding on Kickstarter. That game is called Circuit Breaker, and it's from Freshwater Game Company. Now, if you like what you see throughout the rest of this preview video, I'm going to encourage you to go to the official Kickstarter project page, and you can do that by following the link in the top corner of your screen, as well as down in the description section underneath this video. You can go there, find out more information than I could possibly tell you here, and then hopefully consider backing the project. Now, Circuit Breaker is a competitive game, a very lighthearted game where you and the other players are trying to throw a house party. You each have uh, your own homes, you're trying to basically compete against each other to have the best party ever. And of course, every party needs some sort of like decorations and also um, appliances that can, for fun, like karaoke machines and uh, popcorn machines and uh, pizza ovens and uh, disco balls, <laughs> things like that. But these are like, you kind of run down houses, maybe new houses, and you need to wire all of these appliances into your circuit breaker in order to get them to work. Okay, so a very unique premise for a game. But of course, that's easier said than done. You have to make sure all the connections are properly attached. You need to make sure that you have all the right appliances for the type of party you want to throw. In game terms, you want to have more of the uh, type of appliances that you have hidden objectives for. But anything will help. Um, and then you also need to avoid mice, and, and other players need to avoid your mouse because you have some sort of sentient control over, <laughs> or psionic control over a mouse somehow. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you, you don't have to take my word for any of this, I, trust me, it's in the game. We're going to go ahead and take a look at a prototype copy of the game, so do bear in mind that what you're about to see is going to uh, perhaps change in the final version, and again, that's why you should go to the official Kickstarter page and find out even more information. But then in any event, after that, we are going to come back and discuss it further. Circuit Breaker is a competitive game for two to four players. Each player is trying to set up their home for a party, but in order to do so, they need to rewire their home and circuit box to make use of various electronic party appliances, like karaoke machines and pizza ovens. In game terms, you'll need to play wire tiles to connect appliance tiles to your circuit box tile, and you'll earn points based on how many of each specific appliance that you've hooked up, and even more points if those appliances meet your hidden objectives. Whoever has the most points at the end will be the winner of the game. To set up the game, shuffle the two main decks of tiles, the wire tiles and the appliance tiles. Deal each player two wire tiles and three appliance tiles face down to constitute their hand. After that, make a lineup of two face-up wire tiles near their corresponding deck, and then make another lineup of three face-up appliance tiles near their deck. These face-up tiles also serve as discard piles during the game. In the remaining space near these lineups, place a special cheese tile and put all of the cheese markers on it. Each player also gets a rule reminder card and a mouse token in a matching color, which they'll keep near a large circuit box tile that every player gets. Shuffle up the hidden objective cards and deal one out to each player face down. Hidden objective cards will tell you which four types of appliance tiles are worth extra points for you at the end of the game, but remember that all of the other appliances are still going to be worth some points for you. Finally, for setup, set the round tracker in the middle of the play area. Put a tracking cube in the top left space. When each player has taken their turn, you'll move the cube forward one space. In a three or four player game, you'll move the cube down to the next track after it moves three spaces. In a two player game, you need to go four spaces. When the cube reaches a space with either a wire icon or an appliance icon, deal each player the corresponding tile at the start of the turn straight from the top of the deck. When the cube has nowhere else to go, the game is over. Randomly decide a start player and begin. On your turn, you have three actions you can take in any order. First, you may either move your mouse token onto a tile of your choice or take a tile from that your mouse moved onto last turn. A mouse can be moved onto any tile in the game, including any of the tiles in the two lineups or the decks, or your opponent's appliances. They cannot, however, take your opponent's connected wires. Before your turn comes around and you claim the tile with your mouse, one of your opponents can cheese your mouse by spending a cheese token to force the mouse token to the top of the appliance stack. The second action is placing up to two tiles from hand out into your network. Each appliance and wire tile has connection spots on them. In order to connect to another tile, you must match up the appropriate amount of wires, one, two, or three. 
Connections with a U symbol can be linked to anything. You start by connecting to your circuit tile and then branching out. You can't run connections into walls or leave them floating in space. Appliances only have one connection point, so you have to be careful about closing off potential paths through your wires. The third action is discarding a tile and collecting a cheese piece. Take a tile from hand and discard it on top of one of the face-up piles near the deck, then take a cheese piece. This is the only way to gain new cheese pieces. Play continues like this with players attempting to claim cards with their mice, defending with cheese against other players' mice, acquiring more cheese, and placing down new wires and appliances. When all the rounds of play are complete, add up your points according to your reminder card and reveal your hidden objective card to see how many bonus points you get. The more appliances you have connected of a specific type, the more points you get for them collectively. And if those appliances happen to be your hidden objectives, you get even more points. You also get half a point for each piece of cheese you have left over. At the end of all this, whoever has the most points is the winner of the game. That is Circuit Breaker. Well, like I said in the beginning, and I meant it, this is a very unique premise for a game. I mean, tile laying games in and of themselves are perhaps not that unique, but having a premise like this uh, is, and, and the artwork really brings that out as well. It's got sort of a, I don't know how to describe it, sort of a, maybe a retro style of artwork, something that you might have actually seen in like um, ads and picture books from even like the 70s or 80s, but of course with uh, some modern sensibility. I don't know if that makes any sense, but <laughs> that's just the feel that I got from it. So you have that mixed together with the unique theme, and the game really doesn't feel like a lot of other things that I've said. And, and even like I, I just said that, you know, tiling games aren't necessarily unique, but even this one and how it all goes about feels different. So you have to make these connections with your appliances, but you have to make very certain that as because every appliance only has one connection and it has to be a very particular type of connection one two or three wires and sometimes if you're lucky it has a universal connection but not always um, but it's only got that one so you need to make sure that you have these branching paths of wires um, that are going to let you get as many appliances as possible and therefore get as many points as possible for the end of the game um, and not close yourself off because you can't just like throw tiles down they have to be connected two wires which are then connected back to your circuit breaker and your circuit breaker only has those two openings those two universal perhaps but still only two um, connections that can go out from there so you have to have it's not just like oh it's my turn throw down some tiles you need to think ahead okay you need to think ahead about the tiles that you have that you can work with which is not a lot turn by turn you have to constantly have new tiles coming in and then again planning for those and planning to get them and hoping that you get them before your opponents either get them themselves or jip you out of getting them and then put them down in the right paths in the right order so on and so forth and then of course while you're doing all this you have hidden objectives now you can get points for any tiles and the more you get of a certain type of tile like just bunch of tons and tons of disco balls um, you, and, uh, I didn't mention this in the preview, but there's four of each one in the deck, right? So uh, you can get a bunch of disco balls and just get a bunch of points. But if they're not on your hidden objective card, it's really not an efficient way to get points. You want to go for the ones that are on your objective card. But if your opponents know you're going for those, that's when they can start to mess you up. Either by discarding on top of um, them when they come up in the lineup. Um you know when they go to, which gives them the added bonus of getting a piece of cheese as well, but they can just do it to mess you up, or by taking your appliances from you using their mouse tile. And that's where the interesting dynamic of uh, okay, you've put your mouse token on my appliance. That means it's in the queue to be stolen from me. I mean, you can put your mouse token out in the lineup, or you can put it on top of one of the stacks. But if you're really trying to stymie your opponent, that's what you would do: is put it on one of their appliances. But you could also cheese it away if you have the cheese to spend. And you can't really wait on that because, uh, well, never mind. I was about to say something else. But, <laughs> uh, but so you have to be very conscious of what's going on out there and whether or not it's worth it for you to take an appliance and knowing that maybe it's not even that useful for you. So is that the best use of your mouse? So there's this back and forth constantly of worrying about the most efficient way to spend your actions because it may seem like you have a lot of turns, but you really don't, given that 
every turn you need to be efficiently building up your network. Uh, so there's that there's like this constant flow to the game of you know cycling in cards, cycling cards out, and just trying desperately to get as many points as possible out of your network. Now, when I'm saying all this, it may sound more complicated than what it actually is, but while there is complex strategy there, the actual game itself is very fast to learn, very fast to teach, very fast to set up. Just shuffle the tile decks and deal a few outs to everyone, and basically you're good to go. You don't give them the pieces, but once you get all that down, it's very uh, simple and easy game to get going each time and you can get right into it. And therefore, it is good for casual gamers. It can be good for um, people who are just new to games in general. People who don't want to maybe have a humongous setup that's going to take an hour to put up, an hour to take down. But they do want a game that has more strategy than just like Uno. And I like Uno, but <laughs> you know, sometimes you need a little bit more than that. Or even other really simple tile games, simpler than this. So, uh, if any of that sounds like it appeals to you or to anyone in your gaming group or family or people that you know who would like something like this or like the, the, the clever theme of it as well, you don't have to take my word for any of this. You can go to the official Kickstarter project page and find out more information. The campaign is ongoing, so they might have a bunch of bonus stuff, things that you may want to know about. Do that by going to the link at the top corner of your screen as well as down in the description section underneath this video. That is Circuit Breaker from Freshwater Game Company. Thank you so much for watching and as always for supporting our sponsors. Take care.